Good morning, everyone. I'm Larry with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. I'm very enthused about the inventory item that we're gonna go over today. And the reason is because we maybe get the opportunity to sell one, maybe two of these a year. It is very, very rare to find one of these. So with that being said, this is a Freightliner M2106. The conversion is Summit Hauler. This truck is four wheel drive. And that's the part that makes it unique. If we just stand back and look at the truck, I mean, it's truly a beast. So we have it hooked up to a Cimarron four horse living quarter trailer. Now with the given scenario, that shows us a couple of things. One, not only the durability and the practicality that everybody knows that this truck offers, but also the versatility of it. So we're hooked up to a Cimarron trailer. Those two pair up very nicely. So this truck really comes with multiple functions. You can take it to do whatever you need to do in the snow, that sort of things, but at the same time has the practicality to hook up to a four horse living quarter trailer and function as that as well. So a very, very nice Cimarron trailer that, that they allowed me to hook up today. If you guys have any questions about that specific trailer, feel free to give the, the, the trailer people a call and the store number is 303-684-3400. But my primary focus is on the truck. So let's start at the rear. Obviously, we're hooked up to a gooseneck trailer. One thing unique about the Summit Hauler conversion is this bed is made of aluminum. It's not steel, so we project the life of the truck 10 to 15 years down the road. It's gonna look very similar to what it does today. You can see where we have the lights hooked up to the trailer. Furthermore, right beside that, it is a hookup for the Voyager system. The backup camera uses this system and you can actually hook up two more cameras right there. Some of my customers hook up additional cameras on the side of the truck or with a given scenario, if you wanted to hook up cameras in that trailer, you can do that as well. Now underneath this plate is a hitch for a bumper pull trailer if we find ourselves in a situation that we need a bumper pull. As we start to walk around, the top of the truck is lined. Obviously that's for protection because it's important to us that these trucks last a long time and endurable. And that's one example of things that we do in order to assist that. It comes with three storage components on each side. The bigger one, then there's one in the middle and there's one at the end. Now we're not gonna look at all, every single one, but let's take a look in the front one. and it's locked up. But we can take a look at this one here, and as you can see, you can, it's has space to go in between. There's nothing dividing those. Towards the front, there's a hookup for an airline if we're getting ourselves in a situation where we need that. The batteries to the truck are located right here. Now, if we leave lights on or something like that and we need to jump start the truck, we're actually able to do that underneath the hood so we don't have to worry about tearing all that apart and, and sticking our arms in there along that line to jump start the truck. As we would take a look at the back seat, obviously the first thing you're gonna notice is how much room is available. We also offer the most comfortable seat on the market today. So if you combine the comfort of the seat and the space and the room that's available, that's you're gonna make those long trips uh, very nice for you. Now, just like all haulers, this does make down into a bed by simply pushing a button and it takes us right back up again. I did check with the Division of Transportation and this does meet their requirements for a bed. 
Right here is the def tank, which holds up to six gallons. Furthermore, it comes with two 50 gallon fuel tanks, one here and one on the other side. Now, as the truck's sitting here like this, that fuel is gonna balance itself out. However, when you go to fuel up the tank, you're gonna wanna do that independently. This is a trickle charger underneath here. So if we're on the road and we find ourselves at night and we want to use the lights or use the DVD, stuff like that, that's going to assist the batteries. Here is the block heater. Obviously, people in cold climates, we're getting into that area ourselves where we're going to start using the block heater at night. Now, as we take a look at the driver's seat, I'll just stop a minute so you guys can observe. Again, a ton of space, a ton of room. Some things we can notice from the ground. It does come with air ride. Okay, so right here is where we would adjust the air in the seats. Heated and cooled seats right here. And this is for the lumbar system, so how much air you want in the back of that seat. Some other things we can notice from the ground. It's designed to be able to start the truck from down here. So you can start it, let it warm up a little bit before you get on the road. A couple other things from down here. This pedal actually adjusts your steering wheel. So when you're sitting in that driver's seat, you press that pedal and that, then that allows you to put that steering wheel where we need it to be. Right over there is the trailer brake. Now let's take a minute to take a look at the tire. Guys, these tires are enormous, okay? 385-65 R22.5. We're gonna be able to get a ton and ton of life out of that tire. Just like all Summit haulers, it comes with tire balancers right there. That balances the entire rotating mass from the rim to the hub, all of that is balanced as we're going up and down the road. So that makes it for a safer drive. Furthermore, it's more comfortable. But in addition to that, especially with the size of tire that we have on there, that's gonna prolong tire life up to 40%. This truck is stock number 5N210132. Now let's take a look underneath the hood. That is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. So you talk about a couple of companies that's been around for a long time. You combine Freightliner with Allison and there's a ton of history behind this truck. Some things we can see underneath here. I didn't mention that we could jump start the truck from up here. Right there is where we would do that. As we continue, as you can tell, there's various colors underneath here. Well, they do that for a reason. So where we see yellow is things you and I can check. For example, right there is where we would check the oil. Just a couple of other things. Here's the power steering fluid and the fuel filter water separator is located right there. The hood is actually made of compressed fiberglass. So it is extremely tough. An example of how a benefit to this type of a hood, we had a hailstorm come through and boy, it just demolished the pickup trucks. But when you walked through and looked at the freight liners, you couldn't even tell that a storm came through. So when we put the hood down, it's gonna stop itself, but that's a, a safety advantage as well. We're not gonna get squished under there. The only way to get that hood down is to manually force it down. Now let's take a view directly in front of the truck. 
Here we will see a big advantage Freightliner has over some of the competition is the, that windshield. All right, there's 2,500 square inches of glass. So that makes visibility simply outstanding as we're going up and down the road. That coupled with the sheer height of the vehicle, we're going to be above traffic. So that allows us to see potential hazards both coming at us from the front and the sides. These are LED lights right here. As we continue to walk around, this truck does come with air brakes. So if we take a minute and compare air brakes to the hydraulic brakes on a pickup. So what's the advantage to air brakes? Well, the biggest one is if we have a leak, and particularly a slight one, that there's an unlimited supply of air. So we can keep pressing air through the brakes until we have an opportunity to swap out the line. Well, let's compare that to a hydraulic line. We get a leak in it, that is just gonna continue and continue and continue to go until we either put more fluid in or replace the line itself. Another advantage to air brakes is stopping time. And it took me a while personally to get used to that driving these trucks around. Boy, you hit that, you hit those brakes, you're gonna stop right now. Another thing I wanna mention about underneath the hood before we go on any further is the engine brake. And I'll show you that when we're inside the truck. For example, at the given scenario, if we're coming down a mountain right next door in the Rockies and we have that engine brake on, once that brings 287 horsepower back at us. So that's gonna make things a lot safer uh, along those lines as well. We take a look in the passenger seat, very similar. It is air ride as well for the passenger. In addition, that seat is heated and cooled as well. Underneath here gives us access to the cab air filters. We take a look back here. We get a good shot of the DVD player. And since the door is open, those lights are on each side, on on the inside, so you can see how well lit that is inside as well. Now let's go ahead and crawl in and take a closer look. All right. Things are very similar to what they were in the 2020 model. A couple of the differences are um, we've upgraded the stereo system located right here. So it's back to the, having the knobs on it, which I think that's, that's handier when you're going down the road to adjust the knobs as compared to just finding a, an arrow on it. Um, right here is the four wheel drive we visited about. So you can either put it in low or high Plus, and a real advantage to this truck is you can press all-wheel drive, so then you don't have to worry about it. As you're going down the road, if those back wheels start to slip, then it locks itself into four-wheel drive, and we don't have to worry about that. The gauges are all pretty self-explanatory. There's two air tanks with the truck, and each one of them has its own specific gauge there. Um, these are for the windows, locks, mirror heaters right here. It is equipped with a trailer air supply line. So if your trailer has air, and it comes already ready to go, we can simply put those glad hands on for you. And so you're ready to go up and down the road. Right here is our parking brake. Now right here is the engine brake. I just spoke about that outside. You can either put it on low or high. And once it's on high, then it's really gonna shut the truck down for you. So not only is that safer, but in addition to that, it will prolong the brake life as well. In terms of the backup camera, it's very easy to locate. It's simply right here. So like I stated earlier, you can hook up more cameras to it. All of those would be visible right here. So that's a safety advantage, yet another safety advantage here. So we're not looking over here to look at the camera. We're looking straight up to see it. 
right over here is our air horn right there so once again a very very unique truck it's going to be the only one in the country so i'm very excited to bring it to you um, as you will as you guys well know this truck will not last so if you have an interest in it please give me a call my cell phone number is 970-370-4067 the work extension 303-684-3404 Feel free to email me, larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.